While CNBC completely ignored the Occupy Wall Street protesters at the DNC, they decided to bring on a very, very intelligent figure to give her two cents on the economy. Let's watch. <laughs> What's your take on what people want? What's your take on the economy right now? Well, you know, I think that we've made definitely some adjustments in the way that we do our buying for our Dash clothing stores. It's a typical boutique, and um, we've made some adjustments. And I have found that within our brand, selling to mass, but making the, quali the quality as luxury as possible to mass is definitely the way to go. It's definitely a way to, you know, sustain, you know, retail shops and our our products in this kind of economy. So make it accessible to, to folks. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually going to defend her a little bit in this video. So, she, you know, she asked, what do you think about the economy? Kim Kardashian immediately jumps into what she had to do in her business. When you really focus on her message and get over the fact that she talks like this, like <laughs> what she's saying makes sense for her business, right? It's not like she's saying something that doesn't make sense. She's saying that she had to adjust the price and the quality of her product in order to, you know, appeal to the masses. It's yeah. totally understandable. Um, why is CNBC having someone like Kim Kardashian on to talk about the economy? Uh, partially to get shows like us to cover it. Uh, partially because, as they pointed out in, an, uh, in the extended clip, that like tons of the traders had stuck around to watch the show. Uh, even these really intelligent traders are like, oh, i got to see Kim Kardashian. Um, what I think is funny is that as, as clearly as valley girl as she sounds, and, and it's easy to criticize her because of her life choices and everything. She almost certainly knows more about business than I do, which is kind of sad yeah, for me, Yeah, I'm glad that you said that because um, that's really the reality. I mean, I, I hate to admit that, but she does know a lot about business because mm -hmm. she runs a lot of her businesses. I mean, she has a clothing store. Uh, I, when she was a teenager, she was selling uh, purses or something like that. I don't know. She was doing something that had to do with selling mm -hmm. uh fancy clothing and purses, what rich people do. Well, um, so actually, tied into that, well, one reason that she, when asked what's the economy like she goes into her business is we, we should bear in mind that she is disconnected from reality. She was rich before she was rich. Yes, yes. Her family has always been rich. It's just way richer now. Mm -hmm. So can you really expect her to talk in the way that Michelle Obama did about the struggles of you know everyday families to send their kids to college and that sort of thing? That was a Probably disgusting not. comparison. <laughs> like like what? even even like the thought of her coming close to Michelle. Oh, Obama. I thought you were saying I was being disgusting. No, no, <laughs> you're not being disgusting. I'm just saying like the thought of anyone ever attempting to compare them is just crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, look, they had Kim Kardashian on to talk about the economy. I mean, that's as good as it gets. So, uh, for for the people that are criticizing Kardashian's answer, I mean, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You should, if anything, you should criticize CNBC for having her on and asking her questions about the economy. Let, let's be real, if they could book Kim Kardashian to talk about the economy on the TV show, do you think Here's, they would? First of all, I, I don't imagine Cenk talking to her about the economy. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't, I don't see him asking her questions about that. I okay. definitely could see him ask questions about some of the choices she made <laughs> to become what she has become. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I don't, I don't think that Cenk would seriously, because what CNBC was trying to do there was bring her on for a legitimate reason. Something yeah. other than, we need ratings, we need people to talk about us, so we're bringing Kim Kardashian on. Don't try to make it a substantive interview by asking a reality show host what she thinks about the economy, a tremendously wealthy reality show host. Well, just to wrap this up, they, to be fair, she had just recently done some major investing in this makeup company or something like that. It's a new area that her family is going into, and I assume it's significant amounts of money, so she's kind of ridiculous, but she's still a business figure. Mm -hmm. She's making moves. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do what you gotta do to get some ratings. Right. All right, but but uh, just okay. I have to say one other thing. But just back to what you said earlier. I mean, it's just a little strange to ask a tremendously wealthy person her thoughts on the economy. Obviously, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the reality of our situation yeah. by asking Kim Kardashian about the economy. That's just my problem with it. So I, I'm more irritated by CNBC than I am with Kim.